and welcome to Ginger Welsh Allotments. Um, today I'm outside my house and I'm going to show you what I've got left to do um, before the winter regarding my pots and so on. So here are the container pots at the moment. My hanging baskets I've taken down and the sunflower that was there I planted daffodils in that pot now and my tomato plant at the back is still going strong but that's gonna go on the windowsill in the dining room soon these tomato plants although they still got some tomatoes on them um, they need to be cut up and go oh hang on and on just put them down there we are and uh, my carrots let's have a look I don't think I'm going to keep these going, to be honest, because they're all small again. So I don't really think there's any point in keeping those pots going. Um, my sister's chard is coming to an end. My rosemary, I need to cut down and I'm hoping to take some cuttings from it. But um, whether I will or not now, I don't know. Uh, my parsley is more or less had it as well. My mint I chopped back and the oregano um, is, I think, is dead. And in the greenhouse, got a couple of chilli plants at the bottom. And I'm going to harvest those chilies and then um, chop them all up and put them on the compost heap. As I will with that lettuce that's gone over. And I have, and I have two peppers left. I'm just waiting for those to ripen, and um, and then I'll get rid of the pepper plants as well. Um, there's two green ones on there, and I'll just take the green ones as they are. My butternut squash and squash, and probably the pumpkins will all come in here soon. Um, that's my coriander, and it's. Um, well, it has got a little bit of growth on it, but um, I need to plant some more coriander. And once that greenhouse is cleared, I'm going to clean it all out, wash down the windows, and then get one of those um, like bombs that detonate that clean it all for you. So if there's any white fly or anything lurking in there, it'll uh, clear that. Over here is some of the detritus from the pots I've already cleared and that's going to go over to the compost heap. Um, in here I got some anemones growing for the winter. Here are the dead fruit trees that my father-in-law gave me. Uh, well they're not dead but they haven't produced any fruit so um, what I'm going to do is chop them up and put the twigs in a little heap over the allotment and it can be like a little bug insect hotel. Um, my strawberry plants are still up here because they're waiting for me to um, build that trencher which I'm almost done. And over here we have uh, more branches that are going to go um, for the insects to live in over the winter so hopefully i'll have loads of ladybirds to eat the green fly next year and along here i need to pick up all these leaves there's two bags already of leaves um, ready to make leaf mold so i'll hopefully get that done soon as well uh, we're in the back garden now and this is the apple tree which i've put some grease bands around because hopefully It'll stop any codling moth getting up and into the apples because we just keep getting rotten apples all the time. And um, that's not very nice. And over here is the grapevine, which is going into my slow bush over there. And here is the gooseberry bush that I need to plant over the allotment now. So there's still an awful lot to do outside my house as well as over on the allotment. So um, 
when Anwen goes to sleep now, hopefully I'll get a little bit of the jobs done. But I just have to eat away at it a little bit at a time because of you, you little tiny thief. I will show you the progress as and when it gets done. So I did manage to get a lot more done than I thought I would as Anwen was merciful and helped me a little bit. Um, so I got rid of the tomatoes and the Swiss chard and the parsley and I got rid of the chilli plants that were remaining at the bottom of my greenhouse and I got rid of the peppers that were there and the squashes have gone inside now for me to wash tonight and um, that's as far as I can go now because Anwen's woken up and um, so no Griff oh he's gone he's gone right and over here I've um, I've got a load of the empty pots um, which had the tomatoes in and the Swiss chard and what I'm doing with this soil is I'm going to use it um, in my strawberry planter and the reason it's got these sticks in it is because I found my cat one of my cats Amber um, scratching it out as if to use for a litter tree so I've shooed her off, I thought, oh, I better put some sticks down and I shall try and transport these over to the allotment as soon as possible. I didn't get as far as cutting up the tree branches, but, and I didn't get as far as bagging up my leaves. But hopefully I'll get around to doing that tomorrow, so I'll keep you posted. So, it's been a couple of days since I did my last um, update and as you can see i have now cleaned out the greenhouse so it's ready now to have the pumpkins put back in and i'm in the process of cleaning these pots down here which did have a cover over it but it was the cover for my husband's motorbike and he decided that he wanted to cover his motorbike and expose my pots to the world which was a bit shocking really wasn't it but um, he, it was actually him who cleaned my greenhouse. So I suppose I can't complain too much, can I? I'm just in the process of sieving some soil because I'm going to grow some herbs on the windowsill. And in here, uh, in the root trainer, I'm going to put some sweet peas, which I've soaked overnight. So I'll put them in in a bit. Um, what else is new? Um, here is the, the wood from the trees. I've chopped down the trees that were here. Um, and they'll go over to the allotment. And I've bagged up some of the leaves, but I've still got some more to do. And I did make a start on um, cutting up the, the tree bushes to take over to the allotment. Um, to set up a just a little bit of a woodland area where insects can hibernate over winter so that's that's it for now I'm gonna go and put the pumpkins back in the greenhouse now and put my soil into the pots hello so I'm just going to plant the herbs I was talking about earlier in these um, pots down here and um, I've just filled them with sifted multi-purpose and I'll show you the herbs I've got now so the herbs I'm using have come in this packet and I don't normally buy my herbs like this um, because I don't usually buy herbs they tend to come free in the magazines I buy so but this was in one of those pots in the garden center for um 50p and i thought well can't go wrong for that can you and um i'm going to give it a try anyway so in this collection there's mint coriander um basil chives and parsley so i'm going to grow them over winter on my uh, windowsill in the dining room they have the writing on them as to what they are um, I'm just going to plant one of each. You have two of each. 
Um, but I'm just going to plant one for now and see whether they come up. So to do these, it's really straightforward. You simply just place them on top of the soil. Before I um, cover each one over, I'm going to put the label in as to what each one is. And then I'm just going to give them each a covering of soil. Not very heavy. I, um, I always sift my compost when I'm um, planting seeds. Um, because you'd be surprised how ma many lumps of this and that you have in them. Even if you buy really expensive compost, they still just have bits and bobs in them. So it's always worth just sieving your soil so that the roots of the new seedlings can get away without being hindered by any big lumps of this or that. So I'm just covering it over with one to one and a half centimetres of soil and then I'll give them all a water. With This is just tap water. And I probably would water these again now for about five days. So that's the herbs done and now it's on to the sweet peas. So here they are, I've soaked them overnight for about 24 hours and I'm just gonna drain off the water. I've just drained off the water and the reason you soak them in water, you don't have to soak them in water, apparently it just makes the germination more successful if you do soak them in water. So I'm just going to make a shallow hole about one and a half to two centimetres deep. And then I'm just going to pop the pea into the hole. If you didn't have these root trainers, then you could always just save the uh, inside cardboard bits of the toilet rolls that you get. and. Um, that's what I tend to do with my beans in the spring. I grow them in the cardboard tubes if this root trainer is in use with something else. And then just cover it over. Well, that's the tidying up done outside. Well, the greenhouse cleaned anyway. The great tidy up is still ongoing. Um, I shall probably be doing my pots well into December and I'll probably still be doing them when it's time to use them I expect in the spring but I've planted my herbs and I've got my sweet peas in so hopefully next um, summer I'll have some lovely smelling sweet peas outside and over the allotment so um, all to say about that is lovely job and thank you for watching.